Before we get into some retouching techniques, I want to go over some photo corrections in portrait photography in Photoshop. And we'll be using some techniques to look for dust specks and scratches. We'll be adjusting levels and adjusting lighting and uh, fixing white balance and sharpening portrait photos and doing a couple leveling and cropping and uh, lens distortion correction as well. Some things to consider, just kind of an overview about how a lot of these things work. If you go up to image and then adjustments, a lot of these up here have to do with lightness or tonality. So if you go to brightness or contrast, obviously it's going to affect the brightness of the photo. And then contrast, you can have a really flat photo. If you go to the left, you go to the right, it's very contrasty. Uh, if you go to image adjustments, levels, you can move the midtones back and forth. All right, you can move the, the dark areas will get darker, the light areas will get lighter. All right, now the ones down here where it says output levels, I just want to explain this, how this works. Down here, if you take that, the dark areas get lighter. All right, and then if you click and drag that to the left, all right, the light areas get darker. All right, so light areas get lighter, light areas get darker, dark areas get darker dark areas get lighter. So see, see how that works? And then the midtones right here, you can adjust, you can make them lighter, you can make them darker by clicking and dragging them left and right. You can also adjust certain channels, so the red, green, and blue, you can work on separately. All right, so that's the levels channel. There's some custom presets that we can experiment with. Also, if you wanna set the darkest area, like we'll do with the white balance technique, uh, if you just click this little eyedropper here, click on what area would be pitch dark, and then click the white and just say wherever it should be completely white, and then you can set a mid-tone. Um, so that's the levels channel, the levels adjustment. If you also go to curves, you can click and drag. If you bring this up, it's going to become lighter. Bring it lower, it's going to be a little bit darker. And you can click and drag multiple points on there. And if you ever have a point on here we don't need, you can just click and drag, like say we had one right here, and just click and drag it off. All right. You can also adjust this at the bottom and adjust this at the top and set the dark point, white point, and midpoint. And just like the levels, you can do red, green, and blue. You can work on separate channels, and there's some presets too. Go to image adjustments and there's exposure, which just affects, you know, obviously if it was being more underexposed or overexposed, you bring it to the left and the right. And if you go to all these right here, vibrance, hue, saturation, color balance, black and white, photo filter, channel mixer, color lookup, these all have to do with color. So if these are primarily about light, these are primarily about color. Now some of them do include light in them. There's a little bit of overlap. So if you go to hue, saturation, and obviously this affects the saturation uh, right here, and then you can change the hue, but you can also change the lightness here. And you can work in different uh, hues or just go master for all of it. And if you go to image adjustments and then there's vibrance, you can increase the vibrance, you can increase the saturation there left and right. And color balance is another one that we'll be using sometimes. So if you go to the left, or the right, you can affect the balance of these different hues here. And if you go to image adjustments, we'll be using black and white later in the black and white conversions, but uh, that obviously has to do with color because it's desaturating it, but it's selectively applying different hues to it, so different tonalities. Um, if you go to image adjustments, channel mixer, that's just how the channels are mixed together. So what percentage? And there's a couple other things down here like selective color we will use sometimes. Uh, all of these effects though, instead of just applying it to the original layer, I highly suggest using a layer adjustment. So if you click down here on the bottom of the layers panel, they're all right here. So brightness, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue, saturation, color balance, black and white, photo filter, channel mixer, color lookup and selective color, they're all right there. So when you do that, it brings up the same menu. It just is a little bit different color in the background and whatnot, but it does the same thing. 
and then you can still go back to it later like if you had another say hue saturation one you can click it and then it brings it up there all right and if this is closed out you just double click it and it'll bring it back in and each one comes with a mask you can also go to filter and then camera raw filter even on a jpeg and it will bring up the raw filter here let me bring it in so we can see it there we go this has a lot of the same things that you can adjust say here's the tone curve and here's white balance you know temperature tint exposure contrast it's just in different areas but you can adjust the lighting and adjust the color in here as well you can even do sharpening noise reduction so there's a couple techniques we'll be using the raw filter as well of course if you have a raw file it'll open that up automatically but even in a jpeg we can go to filter and then camera raw filter and we have the same menu here all right so let's go ahead and get started with these photo corrections